there are innards pictured on Joe's computer screen. This is going to be a tough one. I see heart, I see liver, I see kidney. I feel like I'm going to have to taste this today. So I went and changed my clothes because I need some comfort. I need Wonder Woman strength for this. This is going to be tough. I hope there's somebody out there praying for me. Why? You can do this. You can do this, Rachel. You got this. You can eat this. You are not going to vomit on camera. You are not going to throw up. Okay. You are, are going to do this. What are you doing? I am working myself up. What's up, family? Today, I've got a whole bunch of stuff here on Two Crazy Ketos. We are going to review Grassland Nutrition's organic, grass-fed, carnivore snack, beef liver, heart, and kidney, plus some powdered liver. And I will try not to puke right, right after, after this. this. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos. We do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics. And then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch, where we just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us on different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com, and that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon, and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Can you be a little more depressed about making this video? Can you be less happy? Why are you smiling so much? I've been waiting for a long time to do this video. You want to see me barf on camera? So what's up, guys? So today we are going to review this product. I've actually tried it. I got to try it when we were at Keto Summit in in Omaha. Danny Vega had it. It was really good. I really liked it. And so I reached out to the company and they sent us some for a review. Thank you very much for sending it to us. <laughs> So here's what we have here. So this is a company called Grassland Nutrition and I've actually got their website pulled up and they also sent me a few little cards. I'm gonna leave a link down below. We also have a coupon code, which is two crazy ketos. that will get you a discount, but they have this whole little thing about why you want to eat organ meats, and why? especially because it is packed. Convince me. Packed with nutrients, packed with nutrients. So for example, we're going to go and look on here on the liver, okay? Mm. And it says, first of all, all of their products come from grass-fed cows. Which I feel like is super important. In Australia. Wow. So um, it says organically sourced grass-fed beef liver is rich in naturally sourced performed vitamin A, B12, CoQ10, choline, folate, um, bioavailable hemi uh, iron, Provides all of the fat-soluble vitamins of A, D, K, and E in highly usable forms and meaningful amounts of copper, zinc, and chromium. Now, I'm going to be honest with this. I mean, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm studying, stuttering over my words. I'm, like, so scared about this food. But I want all of these things in my body, yeah. and I don't necessarily trust... Like the vitamins that are on the market, like that they're actually delivering to me what they promise. Honestly, buying any of those packaged vitamins, things like that, you know, like the, the multi-days, multi, you know, vitamin one a day things. It's all garbage. You've got expensive urine. Your body can't even absorb it. A lot of them need fats to be absorbed right. They're, most of them, they're, they're what they're bound to. It's garbage. I just garbage. got that. You need expensive to. Expensive urine because you're just paying to pee basically. Yeah. So you really need to get your vitamins, you know, from the food that you're eating. And unfortunately, you really can't even, even if you were eating a lot of vegetables, 
our farmlands have been so stripped, you're not even getting the essential nutrients in your vegetables anymore. Unless you're growing them yourself using your own manure that you've gotten from your cows in your backyard. I do not have any of those like, things. The chance that you're getting really nutrient dense vegetables from the store, very small. You need to get it from here. You need to get it from your meat. And the best place to get it in your meat is by eating nose to tail. Well, and I'm gonna tell you what, at least this isn't stinking up my house with you cooking it. Yeah. I mean, at least I can just eat it. It's, what is it, like freeze dried? It's, it's freeze dried, dehydrated. So I'm really excited about this. So that's the liver. Then we have kidney. Can we call them something else? Like triangle, so star. Kidney is rich heart. in B12, oh, selenium, heart. natural uh, di diamine oxidase. And its primary function is to break down excess histamine in your body. It acts as a natural anti-nasal congestion, itchy skin, headaches, and sneezing supplement. Wow. I'm really excited for the kidney because I allergies. Need that in It'll the help morning, with your allergies. Especially. Okay. And then finally, yeah, it's a real good anti-inflammatory. And it's really high in omega-3s. I have a lot of water here. You do have I a lot of water. I just feel like I'm gonna need a lot of water to I have this a down. little tea. Finally, we have the beef heart. And so it says here, the heart is high in B2, B6, B12, the greatest source of coenzyme CoQ10. Um, it's an antioxidant that helps treat and prevent certain diseases, particularly heart disease. CoQ10 has been shown to slow down the aging process and to improve your energy levels. And we were actually just doing a vlog today and we're talking about sometime over the summer, we just got to empty out our freezer a little bit. We're planning on buying a half a cow or a cow. And I do plan on getting the whole cow. I want all of the organs, I want the testicles, I want the suet, I want the fat, I want it all. First of all, you're paying for it, but right. again, it's a healthy way to, there's plenty of ways that you can incorporate it by sneaking a little bit into your ground beef in your cooking where you won't taste it as much. But our, this is an awesome way. So, oh, in addition to this. When you cook the testicles, you better hide them in something. Okay, okay, so. In addition, we have this. So this is a powdered beef liver. Okay, I like where this is going. Okay, so basically what this is, is you mix one and a half teaspoons with your food, mix in a smoothie and grate over eggs. So one and a half teaspoons. Fear factor so smoothie. So if you're eating a bunch of eggs or something like that, or even your ground beef, you're not going to taste no. one and a half teaspoons of that. You could put that in your like meatloaf. And then finally, we have some pills, liver pills, and it's mixed with kelp. Okay. Okay, so are you ready? Yeah. We're gonna do our five things review with this, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna taste them first. <laughs> then we're going to do our five things review. Can't we just... Where do we want to start? Can't we just do four of the five things? We're going to just... We're just going to do the three dehydrated. We're not going to do the powder or the pills. That's just powdered liver. Okay? Okay. We so we're gonna, we're going to do this. Okay. Which one do you want to start with? None of them. Which one do you want to start with? Ice cream. <laughs> if you can get through this to wash it down... I have these chocolates that came out of our keto crate. Okay. So these are really good. He's he's luring me with chocolate. Okay. Which one do you want to start with? What is going to be the most intense flavor? Let's just get that out of the way. Kidney and heart. There's uh, two? Kidney, kidney and liver. I'd say kidney would be the most intense flavor. I don't remember the kidney one. You want to start with kidney? Okay. Okay. Let's let's do our five things a little bit different than we normally do. We're, it, it, we're just going to kind of touch on stuff let's again. Let's skip the taste one. Okay. We're not going to skip the taste one. So... These are considered nutritional supplements, so they don't have to tell you like everything, like calories. So it says the serving size is three grams. Do you want me to get a scale? <laughs> huh? I Let me get a scale. Yes. Okay, we got a scale. Did you bring some mustard? I didn't bring any mustard. Because I feel like I'm gonna need a little bit of mustard to get this down. Okay, let me zero it out. Okay, so where are we starting with? We're starting with the kidney, right? Kidney. So a serving size is three grams. There's 40 servings in this bag. So total sugar is zero. Australian, uh, organic source, Australian, 3,000 milligrams of kidney. It's got 0.4 milligrams of B2, uh, 20 UGs of selenium, 0.5 milligrams of niacin, 
uh, 0.1 unit of, or one unit of vitamin A, three UGs of vitamin B12. I don't know what the UG stands for. It's not a U. It's like a oh, weird thing. Oh, God. 0.7 milligrams of iron and then 61.6 milligrams of choline. So the ingredients in this are Australian sourced grass fed kidney, freeze dried. That's it. Does say to add salt to taste, one teaspoon and shake the bag. I have never wanted there to be fillers in a product like I want fillers in a product right now. I want them to encase it in cake, drizzle it with something that tastes better. Okay. Yeah. So we do have our red mineral salt. We're going to pour just a whole bunch of salt in here. Make it really salty. It actually says put salt it on it. It does say salt it and then shake it. You probably could add more. Shake and bake. And I helped. Okay. I don't want to smell it. You need to smell it. I don't want to smell it. It actually doesn't smell super bad. Okay, do you know what it smells like? It smells like... gymnasium. It smells like fish food. A locker room. It smells like fish food. That's why if, if you've ever had tropical fish in your house, it smells a little bit like fish food. Okay. How much is the serving? Three grams. Let's not go over. Don't be heavy handed with this, sir. Oh my gosh. That, That's double. Uh, We're not going to eat a whole serving right I now. I just have to eat a piece right now, right? Oops. Okay, so that's three grams. That's not super bad. So that's three grams. That seems like Mount Everest. But again, this is a carnivore snack. Do you want to salt it a little more? Yes. There we go. Also, if you could set a bomb off in my mouth. Okay, so that's what it looks like. Maybe hot sauce. Siri is trying to think of something. Yeah, trying to think of a way out of this for me. Okay, you ready? Yes. Just take a few pieces. Not one. Take like three or four. Cheers. <laughs> It's definitely rich. They're not hiding anything. It's the real thing. It's real authentic stuff in there. Would you rather eat this, this little bit, yeah. or cooked kidney as a meal? That. I mean, after you sprinkle this on your salad, mix it in with something. Can I just eat it whole? Let me see if I can just take it like a pill. Okay. Done. Does that count? Can I, I eat it like not? that? Why not? Let my stomach do the work. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Next up. We're done though. No. Wait, we got more. <laughs> heart or liver? Which one you want to go with next? Have a heart. Have a heart? I already feel like I need um floss. Like there's disgusting Let's... pieces stuck in there. That one smells better. No. Okay, so again, serving size is three grams. I'm not going to go over everything. Ingredients, naturally sourced grass-fed beef heart. That's it. I Add mean, salt it, to taste. We're it, just going to put salt across the top. It tastes very natural, like authentic. You're getting not the real horrible. deal. horrible. Oh, oh, take that big cluster out. Oh, that's actually a serving size. That is a formidable chunk. There you go. That's, pr that's perfect, though. So that's a serving size. It just happens to be all like stuck together. So that's a serving size. So that size is you. That's yours. You can have a whole serving. No, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> that's a hard pass. Yeah. Ooh, it's nice and freeze dried. <laughs> You're taking a big giant chunk. Okay. Ready? The heart really has no flavor. Not, okay, let's calm down. Not like the kidney. Not like the kidney. It is like beef. Like it tastes like beef. Mm -hmm. like if you don't like beef, you're going to not like this because mm -hmm. it is like beef. Mm -hmm. But it is not but like But that everything. is not much. You're talking about no. a nice healthy serving. That is not much to eat. 
Here's what I'm going to do with that. It really doesn't have much flavor. I am going to sprinkle that on top of a salad maybe that I'm eating. Yep. Hide it that way. I don't think I would notice it. Again, much better off eating it this way than trying to get a beef heart and cook it up. No. I mean, I, I mix it into your ground beef. I but... do not want to be involved with the process so, of getting the heart now, in my house and cooking it. The one thing I will say, at least what I noticed with the heart, it's very dry. Did <laughs> well, you it's... notice? Well, it's freeze dry, but you notice like you almost need to have a drink with it because yeah. it's it's very dry. Yes, it is. Okay. I think you just need to drink with it anyway because you're just trying to choke this down. Last one, liver. Thank I, you, Lord. The liver might be pretty tasty. Two thirds down. Can we stop here? Because two out of three ain't bad. Hey, we're going to the movies next week. We can take this with us to the theme parks. No one is going to want to sit next to us. Oh. Ugh. Every time. I expect it to smell, I don't know, like vanilla or something. I don't know Serving what I'm thinking. Serving size is three grams, and this one's got big chunks in it. Dear Lord. Boy, that's like they took the liver and just cut it up. Oh. Oh, Ooh, that's the serving. Oh, my god. So there's your serving. Yeah. Yeah, they have not tried to candy coat this at all. It just looks like an organ that just came out of something's body. I'm going to need you to break that up. Salt? Please. Mustard, hot sauce, all of it. I'm definitely taking the smaller one. I mean, there's no debate. Usually we fight over who's going to get the bigger piece. All you, babe. Oh, I like that one. That one is really good. Mm. Oh, wow, that's natural. Oh, it's the real stuff. It's the real stuff. They're not faking any of that. Are you ready to put this through five things? So five things. So if you are new to our channel, we review all products based on five things. We're gonna talk about the ingredients. Does it keto based on the nutrition label? How does it taste? How much does it cost? And finally, would we recommend it? I have it? a question. What? Can I have my chocolate now? Seriously. Really? Yes. Really? Yes. You can't wait until after this video. I, I cannot. The cat is coming over, and it's not just because of the camera. She smells what we're eating. We got this chocolate. I can't open it. I guess you're going to have to wait. Mm-mm. We got this chocolate in our keto cream. If you haven't seen that video, I'm going to leave a link for it right over here. This is a chocolate emergency. This was really good. And a serving size is five of these. Thank you. I don't want to wash away. The, the cat's here thinking she's getting food. Mm -hmm. Okay. So number one, the ingredients. There's nothing to really say about the ingredients. I mean, Just grass fed. It's grass fed food. beef organs basically beef organs let's not talk about that part so but again if you're gonna eat this you better know that it's coming from a quality source because do i really want to eat a subpar cow's heart and liver and kidneys no, no i do not uh, my my belief i do believe you should try to incorporate a little bit some people say you don't need to i think it's a good idea because you're getting so many nutrients I also think that if you really do want to eat ancestrally, well, our ancestors ate the organs. And yeah. I think it is the right thing to do, especially if you're raising your own or if you're going to a local farmer, like throwing that stuff out, you know, I, I just think that you should at least eat some of it. I'm, and again, it's just really good for you. I'm not happy. I mean, I'm not happy, clearly. But again, I don't want to have to take this stuff in pill form and wonder... If I'm even getting anything out of it. Now, just to give you an idea, though. So this here is the liver with kelp. And you have to, you have to take six capsules of this to equal this. You have to take six pills. I may be taking that like it's a pill. I'm not kidding. Yeah, just but I still think that it's going to be easier to take this as a pill than six 
And I have a feeling that these are going to have some kind of a taste. A let's let's open it up. So six of these very or that little bit and just take, you can take that like a pill. Let me take one of these. Ooh, the capsule tastes very barnyardy. So, so, but it is an option. Yeah. Okay. Ingredients. You, there's nothing to say about it. So number two, does it keto based on a nutrition label? Yeah. Because they are considered a, basically a vitamin. They don't have to tell you like how many calories or anything like that. But I'm telling you right now, there's no carbs in this. It's, it's beef organs. So yes, it keto is based on a nutrition label. Yeah. So number three, how does it taste? Terrible. <laughs> As a good liver should, and a kidney, and a heart. Honestly, honestly, it tastes fresh, like fresh beef organs that have been freeze dried. Now, if you have ever had cooked liver, cooked heart, Stings cooked, up the whole it house. smells up the whole house, especially the kidney and the liver. It does smell up the entire house. It doesn't taste super great. No. I mean, I was raised on liver and onions, and there was a reason they mixed onions with liver. Right. Trying to take the taste out of it. Yeah. So... Um, this to me is just a much easier option. A little handful. I like feel you like said, I could do it. Throw it on your salad. I mix will, it with a couple of things. Yeah. Mix. Put it. Put it with a, like your cheese snack or something like that. Yeah. You know, it's something you know, like where you almost like taking like little cheese puffs or something and reaching your hand in and make like a trail mix with just a little bit of this in there. A trail mix. A fear factor trail mix. I feel like. <clears throat> Like, it, you'd be like a total psycho sitting there eating it like cereal, right? Because it looks like cereal parts. <laughs> Just sit there with a spoon, like, Saturday morning, <laughs> cartoons, and a little bit of heart. Okay, so number four, how much does it cost? All right. Okay. It isn't cheap. I'm, I'm going to be honest. But neither is going to the store and buying grass-fed liver heart, which I don't understand why it's so expensive to go buy this stuff? Because a lot of people throw it out. Like if you go and order your cow, like I was watching a couple of videos on buying a whole cow. They're like, you have to stress to the farmer over and over and over and over and over again. I want the organs because most of the time they throw them out. So if they're throwing them out, why are they so expensive to buy in the store? Is it like how it makes baseball cards more expensive because moms have thrown them out and that makes them, you know, more sought after? Okay, so uh, these are going to be American prices, obviously, because, yes. again, it does come from Australia. This was all airmailed to us directly from Australia. Thank you guys for doing that. Thank That's really awesome. Thank you very much, guys. Um, all three of the di dehydrated ones are $27 a bag. Okay. Okay, so it's $27 a bag, U.S. dollars. And there are 40 servings in this bag. So it's going yes. to last you a while. It would take me a while. And I would say down. you don't even need to eat like, you know, all three of them. I'd say like eat one. And then when you're done with the one, I mean, if you're eating even one part of the animal, so eat that one and then maybe move on. It's not like you have to eat a serving of each one of these a day. It's just like a little bit of organ meat. Yes. Pace yourself. <laughs> so they're all $27 a bag. In addition... Let's look up. Uh, this is. Oh, what's a three pack bundle? I see a three pack bundle the set. The three pack bundle, I believe, is only if you are over in Australia. Oh, or so, New Zealand or Canada. Or New Zealand, yeah. Great Britain. So, yeah, that is for the European overseas orders, three pack bundles. They're not available here in the United States. Wah, wah. Okay, so the grass fed beef litter, the little powder is $27 and there is 40 servings in here, one and a half teaspoons per bat, per serving. Again, that might Put be another option, moving it in with your hamburger. With cream cheese. Cream cheese. So again, the whole point is getting good organic grass fed liver instead of you know, the garbage from the grocery store. Who knows what? Who knows what those cows have eaten? And don't forget, what is the job of the liver and the kidneys? Exactly. To filter out stuff. Yes. And I don't want them filtering out something gross. And then finally, the capsules is $32 for one in the United States, $62 for two, 
for $87 for three. And it was easier to choke that down. So a little bit more expensive, you know, because you're paying $32 for 30 servings as opposed to $27 for 40 servings. But you can ones. see the powder. It's a clear tablet. You can see what's in there and it's right. all good stuff. To me, you might as well just take the other stuff as a pill. Just put it in swallow like you it. did before. Swallow it. So, so number five, would we recommend this? Absolutely. All kidding aside, yes. flavor, taste, everything like that. I wasn't kidding. I'm straight up afraid of these and I, I, it's, it's, it's hard for me to get it down because it's a flavor thing for me. But this is what I would eat. This Here's is what thing. I would take. Is it a flavor thing? And I'm asking you guys as well. And I know for me some of it is. But is it a flavor thing? Or is it because here in the United States, we are not raised to eat organ meat. And so it's a mental thing, which is equating to a flavor thing. Had yeah. you been raised on this? I would definitely have to say, yes, that's got to be it. Because... I was not raised with sushi. Right. It was a hurdle for me mentally to try sushi even. Mm -hmm. And once we got married, you were like, no, you got to try this. And we started eating sushi and, you know, sashimi now after keto. And I love it. I look forward to it. If you if you ask me, where are we going for your birthday? I'm going to say, I want sashimi for my birthday. Right. 20 years ago, it'd be like, no way would I request that. So I think it just takes getting used to. And I have a feeling as much as I am, you know, scared to eat this on the regular, I know I need to eat this. I know it is good for me. And I know that in time, I will probably come to crave these flavors right. inexplicably, but it will happen. Well, I mean, I just think about like bugs, right? Here in the United States, we don't eat insects. We're one of the few countries that don't eat insects. For me, the thought of eating beetles and larvae and all month? that kind of stuff makes me cringe. But in other countries, it's a delicacy. And I feel like it's the same thing with this kind of stuff. But you look at people who have raised their kids eating it. I look at like Danny Vega, who is raising his children pretty much carnivore. And they are eating organ meat. Yeah. And they enjoy it. Why? Because they're raised, they're raised with, it. with it. And I think that that's the difference. So I think that if we can get past the mental aspect of it. It's not so bad. And the bottom line is, whether we like it or not, our bodies need it. That's right. So, well, that is our video for today. Let us know if you ever eat any kind of organ meats in your diet. If you do, what kind of organ meats? And is there any other organ meats other than these three? These are the, obviously the most common. Have you ever tried brains? brains? Have you ever tried the testicles, the pancreas, sweetbreads, all wow. of that stuff, right? A lot of people eat sweetbreads. It's true. So let us know what type of organ meats you have tried or if you're on Rachel's camp and like, yeah, never happening. So yeah. <laughs> please do us a favor and hit that like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon and that way every single time we eat something from the rooter to the tutor, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time. Bye. Bye.